Hey welcome back guys. In today's video I am going to show you how to safely delete a Windows operating system from a dual boot setup using advanced system settings. Whether you are looking to free up space, simplify your boot process or just get rid of that waste, this step by step guide will show you exactly how to do it. So let's get started. Before you start deleting anything, the very important step is to back up your important data. This is crucial because once the OS is deleted, everything on the partition will go on forever. So make sure to save any files you need to an external drive or cloud storage. Ok now let me show you the windows operating system we want to remove. Then we will use advanced system settings to remove it from the boot menu. After that I will show you how to delete the partition to reclaim the space. And finally we will tweak some settings to ensure your system boots smoothly every time. First, let's identify the Windows OS you want to remove. To do this, we need to find out which partition it's installed on. Press Win plus E to open File Explorer. In the File Explorer window, you will see all your partitions. Carefully identify the partition that contains the Windows OS you want to delete. You can usually tell by the level, size and some things by the drive letter. Alright, now that we know which OS we are dealing with. Now it's time to remove it from the boot menu. For this, we will simply boot into the OS that we want to give. After boot from your primary OS, press Win plus R and type msconfig and press enter. This opens the system properties window. Navigate to the boot tab. This is where we can control which OS show up when you boot your computer. Select the OS you want to delete from the dual boot option. After that, click on delete button. This will prevent it from appearing in the boot menu. Next, if you don't want to see boot menu every time, uncheck the time to display list of the operating system box. Or if you want to keep the boot menu but reduce the waiting time, you can adjust the number of seconds here. Once you have deleted the entry, make sure to set your preferred ways as default. Then hit apply and ok. Now that we have removed the unwanted waste from boot menu and it's time to reclaim the space by deleting its partition. Or in future if you want to keep your OS partition to restore the OS then you can keep the partition. OS restoration related tutorial is available here. However, if you want to delete it for permanently then you can continue this procedure. Now go to disk management. In the disk management, right click on the partition containing the OS you want to delete. Select delete volume and confirm the deletion when prompted. Be careful here, make sure you are deleting the correct partition. Once it's deleted, you will see unallocated space where the partition used to be. You can either extend an existing partition or create a new partition entirely. If you are unsure about partition management, I recommend doing some research or checking out my other videos on the partitioning your hard drive. Ok finally let's do a quick check to make sure everything is set up properly. Double check that your preferred OS is selected as the default in the system properties window. If everything looks good, go ahead and restart your computer. On the restart, your system should boot directly into the OS you kept without showing the dual boot menu. If you encounter any issues, you can always go back into the settings we covered to troubleshoot. That's it, you have successfully removed a Windows operating system from a dual boot setup. 
I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.